Our new insight into that intense search to find a missing three year old Lena Sadarkill disappeared eight days ago. Well, today police say it is really frustrating. They don't have any real leads on where Lena could be. Let's bring in eyewitness news reporter Troy Kless, who joins us live with how investigators are adjusting its search. Troy. Thank you, Henry. Well, the San Antonio police chief said today there is nothing they haven't done to try and find Lena. The search for her at this apartment complex here on the northwest side has looked a little bit different, but the chief emphasized today that that doesn't mean it's not an intensive search. Now, today we saw SAPD units in the area searching a nearby storage facility and also beyond that as well. They're really trying to expand the area that they are searching for Lena Keel. But over the weekend, Chief McManus said the police decided to shut down the command posts that were set up at USAA and at police headquarters. He says the command post activity was primarily focused on looking in the apartment complex immediately after Lena Keel was reported missing last week. Now, Chief McManus says right now search teams are focused on going through data, video, and interviews to try and piece together clues. And he says that they've done all that they physically can in this area before. And we have gone over and over and over that. So there's really no need to have that command post set up here. Everything else right now is being done through uh, telephone, social media. But uh, again, I'll emphasize that there is no lessening of the intensity of this investigation. Now, one thing that Chief McManus said is that they are actually looking at suspects in this particular case, but he did not go into detail of who they might be or what their connection is to the case. And again, there is still a $150,000 reward for information that might lead to finding Lena. Now, coming up on five, we'll discuss where police are looking now and why. We're live on the northwest side. Troy Kless, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.